Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall favorites video. I will be sharing with you a few items that I really love for fall. Some of these items are older items that I've had for a while and then there's a few things that are actually new that I just bought this year so I thought I would share with you guys. This video is also going to be a collaboration video, which I'm really excited for because I've never done a group collaboration video. I've only done one-on-one -on -one collabs and I really enjoyed doing those. So doing a group collaboration sounded like it would be a lot of fun. And I definitely want to support my fellow YouTube friends here on YouTube. So Brent and Ariane is the one who came up with this great idea to do a group collaboration on our fall favorites. So thank you so much, girl, for including me in this group collaboration. The other two fellow YouTube friends that are going to be included in this collaboration is going to be Carrie Murphy and Joanna L. Newman. I know most of you guys are already subscribed to their channel, but if you are not, definitely go check them out. I'm going to leave the link down below to everyone's channel that will be included in this group collaboration so you guys can go check out their channel and also check out their fall favorites video and subscribe to their channel as well. So once you're done here watching my fall favorites, remember to go check out their channel as well. Let them know I sent you. And if you're coming from anyone else's channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom and I do a bunch of different videos here on my channel so I really hope that you will consider subscribing and staying with me on my side of YouTube. So let's just jump right into my fall favorites video. I had a hard time trying to narrow it down to just a few items. I still have quite a few things here so I will just jump right into my fall favorites. First item is actually what I am wearing right now. It is this olive green long sleeve shirt and it has like this like detailing it's like lines kind of I love it it is a more tight fitting shirt but I really like it and I love how the shoulders are cut out I love off the shoulder shirts or just shirts that show off your shoulders so this is actually the first one that I will be sharing with you guys since I did just show a clothing item I will stick with the clothing for now the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is this leather jacket it's one of the leather jackets that's more short in the length. I love this leather jacket. You guys, I'm going to admit, I've had this leather jacket for years. I've owned this leather jacket since I was 21, and I just recently turned 30. So, yes, this jacket is pretty old, but I don't want to get rid of it. I love it. It's still in really good shape and condition. I actually bought this from... New York and Company when I was younger when I was like 19 20 I think 19 to like 21 I used to work at New York and Company so I would get a discount working there and that is when I bought this leather jacket and it has held up pretty good and I will continue using it until it completely falls apart now the second item I will be showing you guys are some woo! oh man I just dropped it okay so the second item I'll be showing you guys are some boots you definitely need to have a great pair of boots for fall these are the first pair i'll be sharing with you guys they're just like black and it's like suede material and then it does have like a little heel like a little pump it's not too high it's just a really small little pump in the back and then it also just zippers on the side here i've been having these boots for i think about three years so it is a little scuffed there but they're still in pretty good condition and they're really, really comfortable. Where did I get these from? These are from American Eagle. And then I have one more pair of boots that I wanted to share with you guys and it is these boots. They are a brown color and then your toes come out in the front and then the heel is much bigger than the other one but I like to wear heels and then your back heel is exposed. I really love these and then it has the little zipper with a tassel on the side and I actually received these last year for Christmas. My mom bought me them. I'm not sure where she bought them from. It's a weird brand. It's called Brash. I've never heard of it before, but these are comfortable and I love them. They go well dressing up an outfit or dressing down an outfit. So I really love these. Next, I will share with you guys a few household stuff that I love for fall. First one I'm going to show you is these wax melts. I bought these wax melts from my grocery store at Kroger. It is the Tuscany Candle brand and the scent is Fall Festival. You guys, this smells so good. If you guys like scents that have like cinnamon in it, definitely check these out if you have a Kroger near you. I love the way it smells. It smells a lot like cinnamon and they're really cheap. They're only like $1.99. So I just found these this year and I'm obsessed with the scent. 
Next is going to be a candle from Bath & Body Works. Now, my go-to fall scents for Bath & Body Works are usually marshmallow fireside and leaves, but I decided to try a new candle this year and it is called Autumn. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. Love the lid. And it smells so good. It smells like, basically like fall. It smells like leaves, kind of. I don't even know how to explain the scent. It smells like kind of like apples and leaves to me. So it has bright red gala apples, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. It smells amazing. And I love Bath & Body Works candles. They smell up the entire house. So if you're looking for a new fall candle, definitely try out Autumn if you have not already. My next item is going to be this wreath. I actually just recently made this wreath in a DIY, I would say like maybe like two months ago maybe. It is a small mini wreath. I love the way it turned out. I bought everything from Dollar Tree. I like to put this in my kitchen. My kitchen, my pantry has a door, so just hang it behind there. So yeah, that is going to be my next fall favorite. Next is going to be a movie, and it is Hocus Pocus. I, guys, I am so obsessed with this movie, you do not understand. Ever since I was younger, I have always been obsessed with Hocus Pocus, and I'm 30, and I'm still obsessed with it. I still watch it every year, and I have it in DVD. I also have it in VHS, even though we don't own a VHS, because when I was younger, that's what we owned. And I decided to buy the DVD last year because I got tired of waiting for it to go on TV and record it. So now I have it in DVD and I watch it every year. And I think I've memorized pretty much the entire movie. And if I wasn't obsessed with Hocus Pocus enough, I have a Hocus Pocus mug. This mug, first of all, is huge. Perfect for putting a lot of coffee or hot cocoa in it or even tea. And right here it just says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And I love that it's on both sides. It's not just on one side. And I think I bought this from Burlington last year and it was really cheap. It was like $2.99. I love how huge it is. So mad that I did put it in the dishwasher so it messed up a little right there. But yeah, this is my go-to mug for fall and Halloween. Next is going to be a wine glass. I love my wine and I love this wine glass. It's a little pumpkin. I also bought this from Burlington. It was in a pack of four in the Halloween section. So it came with, I think like Frankenstein, a ghost, this pumpkin, and then I'm not sure what the fourth one was, but it did come with the fourth one. But yeah, I like to drink my wine out of this festive little pumpkin wine glass. Next is going to be candy corn. I know a lot of people don't really like candy corn. I was never a huge candy corn person, but the past few years I have become a candy corn person, so I definitely always make sure to buy the candy corn when it comes out. I'm not a fan though of like the really big jumbo pumpkin ones. I think it's just too big and too much. And I know they have like chocolate and like apple, just different flavors. I just like the traditional small little candy corns. I also really love like apple pie and blueberry pie. And you guys don't kill me, but I'm not a big pumpkin spice girl at all. I don't like pumpkin spice coffee. I don't like pumpkin spice cookies, pie, none of that. But I do love pumpkin spice, just the smell of it. So my house will always smell like pumpkin spice for fall, but I won't have any pumpkin spice food in my house because I'm personally just not a fan of pumpkin spice. So next I will share with you guys three fall lip colors that I love. They're all pretty much like a burgundy color. So the first one is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is by NYX. It is their butter lipstick in the color Ripe Berry. I love this lipstick. It's really, really moisturizing to your lips. It's not drying at all. And it has like a little sheen to it when you put it on your lips. So if you guys aren't into like matte lipsticks, I'll definitely try this one out by NYX. It's really, really moisturizing and smooth on the lips. Next is going to be this lip stain by e.l.f. It is a really, really dark burgundy color. You have to really like dark colors because it is really, really dark and pigmented. I love this because it definitely stains my lips. Anytime I need something that is long lasting, if I'm going out or going to a get together, I will put this underneath and then I'll put some type of lip gloss or lipstick over it and it stays for hours. It's definitely something you will need a makeup remover to get off of your lips. This is definitely one of my favorites. I've been using it for years. It is by e.l.f. And then the last and final item I'm going to show you is this Tartus lip paint, obviously by Tarte. And this one's more of like a, it has like a red in it, but it's like a burnt out color. I don't even know how to explain. It's like a 
burnt brown reddish color this is also another really pigmented lip products it does dry out to be kind of like a matte lipstick and this one's also one that is really really long lasting so i like long lasting lipsticks that i don't have to keep on reapplying so yeah that is another one of my fall favorite lip products okay guys so that was the last item that i will be sharing with you guys for my fall favorites video i hope you guys really enjoyed my fall favorites if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you have not already i would really love for you to join me and subscribe to my channel and like i said before definitely remember to go check out everyone else's channels and their fall favorites video all the links are going to be down below for you guys to check them out and i will see you guys in my next video bye